سمعني على صوتك عشان اسمع Amid the destruction, hope of at least one survivor. This residential building in Gaza was brought down by an Israeli airstrike overnight. From beneath the rubble, rescuers pull out dead bodies. Earlier on Sunday, Israeli forces said they had struck the home of Yahya Sinwa, head of the Hamas political wing in the Gaza Strip, although didn't say if he was killed. Ground troops also continued the offensive, shelling Gaza from their position in Sterot. Hamas, meanwhile, hurled more rockets at Israel overnight, with locals dashing for bomb shelters as sirens sounded in Tel Aviv and the southern city of Beersheba. At least 10 Israelis have been killed so far. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said fighting would continue as long as necessary. You know, and I know, no country would tolerate this. Israel will not tolerate this. Israel has responded forcefully to these attacks, and we will continue to respond forcefully until the security of our people is reinstated and restored. The bloodiest military conflict in seven years has forced some 10,000 Gazans to flee their homes, according to the UN. It has also sparked a wave of intercommunal violence between Jewish and Arab Israelis, as well as deadly clashes in the occupied West Bank.